Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm going to be doing some grunge text that transforms into whatever words you want. So it's a cool little transition. I'm going to show you how to make it and control it. So what's neat about this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to control this with a slider. I've got this slider that just controls everything and it's just it's like creating a nice little effect, if you will, um, that just does whatever you want it to do. And so I'm going to show you how to do that easily. But let's just first start with a new composition. And let's bring in my texture. This is just a grunge texture, and it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of in the background. So let's bring it in there. And just find whatever you have lying around and you can use for this. Or you could just create something in After Effects with some turbulent noise or something like that. I'm going to come into the effects, color correction. I'm going to then drop the saturation. And then also go to the curves and bring the darkness down quite a bit. Now let's bring in our text. And let's make sure that's centered. Okay. And then from here, we can maybe add a little bit to this text to give it a little bit more of a grunge to it. So if we go to stylize and then roughen edges, it's going to add a little bit of roughness to it. And the scale is how big or how small the rough or the torn edges are. So if you bring the scale down, it's going to look you can see it looks more kind of like it's made of chalk. If I bring this scale up, it's going to look more just kind of wobbly. So let's bring in about 36 looks pretty good. And just to give it a little bit of roughness. Now, here's where we're going to start to build this transition. And I'm going to do it all on an adjustment layer. So let's grab a new adjustment layer. And let's start bringing in the filters or the effects that we want to create this with. Let's go to Stylize and Glow. That's the first one we're going to want to do. Let's go to Blur and let's do a Directional Blur. Let's go to Color Correction and do an Exposure. And then let's go into the Expression Controls and add a slider. So let's get this to the point where we want it to look like when it's transitioned. So first thing we want to do is bring the slider up to 100. And then let's go to the top. And let's set the glow and the directional blur and the exposure until we want it, until it looks how we want it to look. So bring the radius up a little bit, maybe the threshold down and the intensity up. Intensity about two. Radius will go 33. Threshold will go 33 as well. Now on the directional blur, we just want to change the blur length. Let's bring that up to 100. I'm going to just close these down for now. And then on the exposure, let's 25, that might be too much. About 10, that's looking about right. I don't want it overly bright. Now I have this slider, and this is where we're going to start connecting things to the slider. So if I see here that this exposure is set at 10, and this is at 100, I need to have a factor of that. So let's go down onto this adjustment layer. It's easier to do these things down in the timeline. So let's open up our effects, open up the slider, and let's start with the exposure. And this master exposure is set at 10, and that's as bright as I want it to be. So I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt on my keyboard, and then click on the stopwatch. And then what I can do is take this pick whip and grab it to the slider, now remember that's 100 and I don't want it to be 100, I want it to be 10, so I'm going to hit divided by 10. And then now that is now linked to that slider. Now let's do the same thing for the other two. Let's go to the directional blur. And this one's easy because this one's set at 100. So option or alt click on the stopwatch. And let's just bring it to the slider. And it's good to go. Now let's go to the glow. So let's go glow intensity to the 100, and we want to divide that by 50, glow radius, and divide that by 3, and the 
glow threshold you don't really have to do. So now I want to show you what this is doing. I come up here to this slider. And as I slide, it's going to adjust everything all at once. That's pretty cool. So it's a good way to control lots of effects all in one go. Now, another thing I want to do is I want this to kind of shake as it's getting more intense. So to do that, I'm going to take both of these layers and I'm going to parent them to this adjustment layer. Then I'm going to go to the adjustment layer, hit P on the keyboard, brings in my position. I'm going to Alt or Option click on the stopwatch and I'm going to write a quick expression here. This is the wiggle expression. And then I'm going to hit type in wiggle, then open parenthesis, and I'm going to grab my pick whip, grab the slider, then hit comma, grab the slider again, and then this time divided by 10, and then close the parentheses. And what this is going to do is now it's, as I go up, it's going to move this around is I want to scale this so I don't see these black lines. So let's also bring up the scale and let's pick whip this to the slider as well. But we need to add a little bit to this. What this did is it created a temporary variable that's set to that slider. So 100 equals temp equals 100 because it's set at 100. And so, but what happens if I don't change anything, it's going to move down, which I don't want it to do that. But what I do want it to do is get a little bit bigger as it gets up to 100. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to put in a pick whip to this 100, which is just the value it has now. And I'm going to hit the plus sign. So transform scale number zero plus. And then the expression that was already in there, this effect slider control slider. I'm going to divide that by 10. That's probably even too much. Let's divide that by 50. Looks pretty good. And so what that's going to do is it's going to scale it up just a little bit as it starts to shake a little more. So that is the basis of this transition. So it's easy to, to use. You could just keyframe it. So we're going along and we want to say transition. Maybe I can even come in here and maybe scale into this a little bit. So it's starting to kind of scale in over time, you know, four seconds a little long. So let's do two seconds. And then maybe at this point I can come in here and now I keyframe this slider control and it's going to go crazy. And then we bring it back down. And at this point, if I hit you on the keyboard, it's going to show me my keyframes. And so you can see it right at this point, everything is kind of bright and I can come into this grunge text and maybe I can switch it to something else. So, and because it's all using an adjustment layer, everything is going to work pretty smoothly. So let's just quickly render that out. So that's it. It's a pretty quick transition. Uh, the key things you're going to want to remember with this is using an adjustment layer. It's easy to add lots of effects to your layers using an adjustment layer. And then the slider control. If you haven't done anything with expressions yet or even expression controllers, I highly, highly recommend it. There's some really cool stuff you can do. And just with this slider, you can see how, how much control I have by attaching all of these things to the one slider. So please go give it a go. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Put them down in the comments below. And if you have any tutorial requests, go to the discussion tab on my channel. That's a great place to put that. Everyone else can see it there. And so if you have any requests, put them there. I can also comment back on that discussion tab and maybe there's already a tutorial out there and I can just guide you to that. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.